Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a look at some simple alkenes. And in order to understand them better, let's compare them to their equivalent alkanes. Starting with the simplest alkane, methane, which only has one carbon, there's of course no corresponding alkene. You can't have a double bond with only one carbon. But the next ethane, the simple molecule ethane, part of alkanes, C286, does have the corresponding alkene. But there we call it ethene instead of ethane or ethylene, the common name. Notice the double bond between the two carbons. And then each carbon only has two hydrogens instead of three hydrogens because one of the available uh, electrons is taken up in the double bond. The next propane, the equivalent for that is propene. Notice that we can either have a double bond here or the double bond there, but either one will look exactly the same, so there's no isomers there, depending upon where we put the bond. It's just one simple equivalent, propene in the alkene family. And notice that we draw this a little bit different now. We tend, instead of drawing it linear, we put the CH3 up here, so you can see that there is this, this what we call zigzag formation to the molecule when we have propene or when we have alkene molecules. Notice the double bond here. It could have been there and it would have been the exact same molecule. The next one that we have as an example is 2-methylpropane. Now what that means is we added an alkyl here to the middle carbon and therefore we call it 2-methyl. The attachment is the methyl and alkyl. And then you can see that it's the second carbon, therefore we call it 2-methylpropane. Now the equivalent corresponding alkene, we call it 2-methylpropene instead of propane. Everything else is the same. Well, why is that? Well, that's because we have the alkyl attachment here to the second carbon, and therefore it's 2-methylpropene because there's at least one single double bond. Notice it looks a little strange. It takes a little while getting used to it that there's indeed three carbons in this chain making it a propene and then an alkyl, a CH3 alkyl attached to the second carbon for the two methyl in front of that. Now finally, another example is the butane molecule. Notice we have four carbons, they're all single bonds. When we turn it into an alkene, there will be at least one double bond. Now that double bond could have been here or here, that would have been the first bond depending upon which direction you're looking, or we can put it here, that's the second bond. Since we placed it here, we call that the 2-butene molecule, or if we place a double bond on the first one, that would either be here or here, then it's called a 1-butene. So depending upon where we put it, where we put the double bond, you're going to end up with a different molecule with different properties. Now because there are now combinations in which we can add alkyls and there's combinations where we can have the double bond, you will find that alkenes have more isomers than alkanes. So we're going to show that. We're going to go through the family, through the, at least some of the initial alkenes in the family and show you all the various isomers and why they're structured the way they are. And also why they're named the way they are because there is actually a method to the madness when it comes to naming organic molecules. So stay tuned and we'll go through those.